Hello, everybody. Once again, I'm here with my friends, your friends, Stephanie from Spiritual per Perspectives of Our Great Awakening and Taylor from Taylor Moon. They really need no introduction because you guys know them already. How are you ladies doing today? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie are in our flannels. I never get to wear a flannel. I was like, I feel like a lumberjack, but it's uh, a flannels. It's a little, little chilly for me. I just got off with Catherine Edwards. We filmed our first episode of our series on passions with Mornay from Aquarius Rising Africa, who is a fire spinner and a fire dancer. <laughs> So that episode should be airing hopefully later this evening. If not this evening, it will be up tomorrow. It'll probably be on Catherine's channel before mine because I've got a full day of, of filming ahead of me. So um, so be looking out for that. And you guys, so we're going to kind of just jump right into it today because we got so many questions from you guys. So many. got to crack the, crack, crack the knuckles. And uh, I know we were on camera before we started filming. The ladies have cleaned their cards and smudged and everything. So we're all good. So yes, yes, that card hygiene. We got a lot of people thanking us for talking about that card hygiene uh, last time. How important. important. That's very yeah. important. Yeah. To clean everything. So yeah, and I clean my area a lot. Um, even though I'm not predominantly a reader like they do, I still have my cards, but they're they're better at that than me. But I still clean my area a lot because a lot, a lot of this battle is happening at our desk. You know, that's why this um timeline's so interesting because a lot of the work is actually happening on the cloud, right? Speaking of on the cloud, I wanted to start with something that I stumbled across on Twitter. And I sent it to you ladies this morning, and it was so interesting because y'all couldn't see it, could you? I had no. to like type it out. And I was like, damn it, I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen because I feel like there's some truth to this. So I'm going to show you guys what I stumbled upon on Twitter, and I shared it on my Twitter page this morning because we're learning that what we perceived from the Bible is kind of different than what we interpreted it to be for all these years. And so I found this, um, this thing, it says in the Bible, we read about the 144,000 souls sent 8 million years ago to remain over many lifetimes, performing a divine mission of the 144,000 souls, 72,000 souls are twin flames to the other 72,000, making the chosen 144,000. Now, many different religions have different perspectives on this 144,000. We know the Jehovah's Witnesses have a very interesting perspective on that. We've thought about it being actually a vibrational frequency, all this kind of stuff. But I thought this was super interesting because a lot of what we're experiencing in this spiritual war right now has a lot to do with twin flames. So first First of all, can we uh, talk about what a twin flame is? First and foremost, what is a twin flame for people who don't are not familiar with this concept? Well, that's another one of those things that a lot of people have different perspectives on too. And I can only tell you kind of what I've channeled or have come through my channel. So what I've been told is there's it's an advanced soul mission. It's an advanced soul that would want to do this kind of experience. So it doesn't make anyone better. It just means that it's a soul's choice when it wants to do this. And what the soul has done is it has decided to incarnate into two. Now, when I say that, I also think there's a soul fragment thing going on because things are so different in the here now moment, very extensions of each other, soulmates too, of course. But one thing what they were telling me was like, these souls are whole. It doesn't make you any less what they chose to do was incarnate as divine feminine divine masculine and we all have those energies within us but actual feminine masculine boy girl and what they choose to do is they come here for experience and sometimes those twin flame unions can be a little difficult because they're supposed to come together when they gain the knowledge and the experience and they come together and they share and they mesh those energies together so i'm also doing these studies right now where i'm i'm seeing that like maybe we also have not only twin flames, but also other extensions of ourselves and beings we have. And we are encoded too with information from different beings that might've incarnated as well. So I'm going through a really weird process of trying to figure out the soul fragment things because we're not just fragments. It's not like when you do a soul retrieval and you call back aspects of yourself that need to be cleansed. It's like actual full human incarnations that are extensions of the soul. Of course, we're all extensions of each other, but we're also all unique vibrations. And that's the twin flame thing. Like I don't 
believe they're the exact same frequency, but there's definitely some sort of energy that is the same soul coming together and learning their lessons together too. And if anyone else wants to, everyone has such a different perspective on the twin flame thing too. So if anyone else wants to add, absolutely. I see, I kind of see that too. And when I read that, it really resonated with me because I know I have a twin flame. I know who that is. I know Stephanie has one. She knows who that is. You have one, you know who that is. We're very aware of who that other person is. Um, and it came to us all at once too. It was in like, since November, like these downloads of just certain information coming at us. And it, well, and just experiences and I know mine um, and, and uh, they don't want uh, the darkness doesn't want those union unions. And when we say union, sometimes in a twin flame situation, you're not going to be romantically partnered. That does happen, to say that. <laughs> does happen a lot, but it's not, it's, it's a work that you have to do together that you are vibrationally equipped to do together. Um, I, I know, I know we've, uh, in my own personal experience, I kind of know, I understand now what more, what my soul contract is moving forward. And I absolutely have to do that with my twin. Y'all know that. That's something I have to, we, we're the only two that can do it. And so if you look at that on the, the, the one case scenario, but then you open it out to all these different people, the darkness is really trying to separate that, isn't it? There yeah. really is trying to divide that. But let's, I want to read on that. So the 144,000, so 72,000. I pulled cards already. Couple, on basically. <laughs> is that what they were talking about? So, so first of all, it, it's, it's actually coming out in the open. As you can see, if you put it on your screen and I have two aces in a row, this ace is like passion, love, um, <clears throat> because the cups are emotions. And then we have the pentacle right here, the ace of pentacles, which is like in the physical form. So yes. Um, and yeah, it's to, it's, I think like what, what, what comes to my mind is all these different end times. That are playing out whether it's on different worlds or different golden ages that are birthing out like i feel like there's a mission of of something that we have to end ending of the satanic world um bringing balance and it's like a it's like a military of um the divine well that's what i'm starting to think too the hundred forty four thousand souls that have been here for eight million years and lord i feel it i feel like i've been here for eight million years um we're part of a galactic military. Yeah, this is like soul growth. So it's like growing and growing every life, <laughs> incarnating and putting your putting the energy into the grid every time you incarnate. And actually, I really got the same kind of information as Steph about this would. They really don't want us together. And this is soulmates too. We know how hard it was for us to connect with each other, um, even through the internet. So it's like, oh my gosh, they're do, they do anything to keep it apart. But what I actually feel... And I got judgment and I also got the Knight of Cups is an offering too. Like it's almost like you're going to start to see the physical offerings of these people coming into your life too. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And she got very, yeah, Steph got very physical card too with her manifestation. So it's like coming together. It's weird. It's like the coming together now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we well, have this, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Stephanie. We have these different like um, groupings. So, you know, we have our soul families. We have our twin flames. Some people even have like, um, twin souls where they're not exactly the opposite gender. I've seen that too. Um, where it's just like, what do we call them? Fractals or, um, yeah, it's, but it's so weird because I don't have a name for it yet because it is like a fractal because they're extensions of each other. But when we say fractals, again, it goes back to that soul retrieval thing of thinking it's an aspect of yourself that needs to be cleansed yeah. a whole. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are all whole energies. Yes. And I know for the twin flame experience, you, you are whole apart from your twin flame. However, and again, I'm going to say this again, not all twin flames are romantically involved. That's just your soul contract. Um, so don't think of it as, as it's just, you have you and this other person have a, a certain mission. Um, and you are, you're divinely to connected. And, um, and I've heard for many people when they, when you meet your twin flame, it, there's no denying it. When you're in a, a room together, the energy is very intense. Um, and the vibration like rises. So bless you, Taylor. Bless you. <laughs> um, and, and we know, and, and something, and I, I won't go into too much detail, but we know that there are certain countries right now where it's impenetrable for us to get into them. If we're not, why is that? To keep those totally people plan. from coming together. Totally exactly. It's, it's um, such a strong energy that it just blows out the uh, darkness. Yeah. So, 
some of these borders and these countries are not being, this is not all a movie. This is a WAR. Some of these borders are not being controlled by the white hats. They are being controlled by the black hats. And, and there's some borders where for us that aren't, which we're not going to be, they don't want those people coming together to start working on their mission. Because once that happens, that's going to really kick off a tower moment for this, this group, this, this nefarious group. So, so we're getting that. So guys, so that's, I just thought that was super interesting that the 144,000 being um, old souls who have been around since the beginning yeah. and they're basically couples, regardless of they're romantic or not, they're, they're couples. So. Yeah. I, I've been seeing 11, four, four a lot. And I know you guys have two Me or too. one, four, four. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, pay attention to the numbers. I'm just going to say that too, for the, for your collective too, that pay there's a lot of 11, 11 I'm seeing. There's a lot of yeah. 17 I'm seeing. We know what 17 means. Yeah. 17 in numerology is victory. Um, 17 letter of the alphabet. We know what that is. 11, 11 is what new beginnings. 10, 10 is endings. Is that what, or 11, 11 be, uh, endings. Uh, I, I say 11, 11 is just spiritual enlightenment. Like you said, yeah. beginnings of the new spiritual journey. And then like you said, 10, mm -hmm. tens or 10, tens is always like, or it's, it's over. <laughs> three, yeah. three, three is Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just, just look it up too. Like if you don't know, and you feel something when you see it, just like try and look it up and then discern and decide what it means for you. Just like everything else we've been saying, like exactly. just yep. <laughs> listen to that gut. All right. So we are going to go now to some questions. And again, guys, we have so many questions. I don't know if I've said this before on the episode yet, but I'll say it again, just to reiterate, if I have, we have so many questions that we're probably not going to get through all of them today. So we're going to kind of cut them in half and do half today and then half next week. And then after we get through this set of questions, we'll open it up for more questions to come through. All right. So let me go here and let me go back to my share screen. Um, and as you guys see, I am keeping all the questions in a sp particular place on the community board because that's just easier for me to be able to keep it organized. Now, Earth Heart here had a really important question, but we're going to come back to that a little bit later just to kind of um, beat out the algorithms. Uh, we need to get a little bit deeper into the episode. We're going to obviously be using code word for a lot of this, but um, but um, for other things, we won't have to. So I'm going to start here with Debbie Simon. And she says, this is a question about my husband. Who is he? He remembers a dialogue with someone prior to his birth where he's biting at, biting at the bit to incarnate, saying excitedly, I can do this. I can do this. Wow. That's how excited our souls were before taking these bodies. Yeah. And now we're like, abort mission, abort mission. <laughs> um, he recalls coming home from the hospital after being born, conversations, events, etc. He says he's always been awake. He was the proverbial conspiracy theorist back in the 80s, and everyone rolled their eyes at him, but he's been right about everything. He's seemingly indestructible like a cat with nine lives. He's been A-B-U-S-E-D. I'm just not even going to read those words um, because we know that YouTube's not going to like them. He heals incredibly fast. Uh, he consistently was very real sci-fi type dreams where he's a warrior fighting off weird beings and creatures. Who is he really? So this is from Debbie about her husband. Yeah. So first and foremost, a lot of souls were excited for this journey. I know this is something that Bryce has talked about too, with the, the raw material too, and um, how we incarnate, we actually get our blueprint before we drop in. And people really wanted to be on earth for this moment because it's such a different way of transitioning. We get to transition in our human bodies. Um, it was a volunteer program, but like I heard, I've seen a vision of it and like hands shot up. It was like, why wouldn't you volunteer? Actually, I saw your husband's light body and I feel like he resides normally in a ninth dimension consciousness. That's a very high galactic consciousness that I saw. So he normally has a light body, um, but he also had to come in really, really protected. And that's why he's been able to avoid death and things like that too. Those beings have to be cloaked and protected when they come in. Um, and actually, I feel like he's doing that stuff in his dream state too. Um, the first thing I thought in my head was there's this council of light beings and that's i saw them speaking on a ship so i don't know if he's a part of that council or if he's a captain on a ship of that those groups of light beings but it definitely was ninth dimension whenever i stepped into there but i'll let steph go ahead and pull some cards and then i'll pull cards too but that's just I, I actually was getting a captain of a ship i get the chariot card and the reason i say captain of the ship with a chariot is i actually look at it as literally as a chariot so if we read the bible of the book of ezekiel it talks about the um 
the metal chariots in the sky. So I'm actually looking at the chariot as a literal sense here. Um, and he, I feel like this is talking about his um, frequency, his brain activity. He's very quick. Um, everything that comes through, he gets lots and lots of downloads very, very quick. Um, definitely coming from a higher dimension. Um, he's definitely somebody of high intelligence and is, he's somebody powerful. He's yeah. It gives me, somebody. it gives me captain energy too, with those cards, yeah. like up, we have on, up on the, up on the levels. Yeah. Who's the king of a ship? The captain. Um, and yeah, he's had some disappointments and setbacks, but, um, he's definitely going to be celebrating in the future. He's, he's. Sounds like a very interesting individual. And yeah, Debbie, I, I have I have someone in my life that's a captain of a ship too. <laughs> yes, girl. Okay, I got the star, which is uh, affirming definitely galactic heritage, which makes sense with his dreams anyways. Um, so that's pretty cool. But we also got the magician. So he's a really good alchemist. He's always been able to transmute energy. And then on top of it, justice. So he came in to bring justice. He came in to bring a higher frequency to this planet. And if he's been fighting in his sleep too, he's probably clearing out things and helping with the um, Earth Alliance energy too and the captain of that. But again, justice too, he's, he's bringing in that energy. But yeah, he's definitely off world higher dimensional captain energy right there which is so cool by the way so cool <laughs> awesome well I, what i'm gonna do guys i'm actually gonna stop share until I, unless i need to pull the um question up if it's detailed like that because i want you guys to be able to see their cards really what that what that they're pulling up so the next question i have is hello bryce i know this is from rachel dodd i know i'm a natural healer i can feel my wings and often feel a sword in my hand i know i'm an indigo me too, girl. I'm asking my question because while I get answers easy for others, when it comes to my myself, I find it's not so easy. Um, I do have a couple questions, but understand due to time, if you're a program, it may not be possible to answer. So we'll go through some of these. Ever since I was introduced to music therapy, I knew what I wanted to be. To combine my natural ability of healing and music, I'm a singer, so is Stephanie. But uh, constantly the door is shut in my face. 20 years, I've been trying to find a way in. Will I become... Same girl. Same. <laughs> Will I become a music therapist or is there another pathway for me, such as working with the med vets? So, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's look into this. Sounds like Rachel's got a lot in common with me too. Yeah. You guys remind me, the energy reminded me of each other. The other thing I want to tell her too, is like, maybe those doors closed because this is the industry you didn't want to get into at this point. Now, that being said, Steph and I said this last time that picture these jobs, but they're going to look different. Everything's going to look a little different. So keep manifesting it. And if that's what you feel in your heart center, absolutely keep continuing to see that, but it might look different. There's healing chambers where you use your frequency of your voice, crystals, things like that, that you've done in the past. So just keep that in mind that things are going to look different. I was thinking the same thing um, as she was getting the door shut in her face into the music industry. I, I yeah. think sometimes that might've been a blessing in disguise Yeah, for you. You might've been protected. Um, and, and we know that within some of these industries, there's really not that much integrity anyway. And so if God gave you this gift, he might've been wanting you to hold off and for, for a time when you can actually use it with integrity. All right. Yes. She was 100% blocked by spirit. So she was blocked by the devil. Um, and if you look at the bottom of this, nurture is the word, and you see this pregnant belly. So this is like, she has these gifts. And if you look at, she's like about to like give birth, because you can see the big belly looks like a nine month pregnant woman. And it's like, she's going to birth out this um, beautiful gift that she has, but it says in the Bible that not to bring up the Bible or anything, but it says that the woman was protected for how many days from the beast. Well, who's the beast? The beast is the devil. So it couldn't be brought out in birth yet because she would have been in danger, but she's going to take back her power with that gift. And yeah, I, I feel like she's going to definitely be singing or doing something of um, that, those musical abilities and just kind of like going into something that happened to me is, I, I blocked myself at one point. I was offered by somebody um, to look into getting um, a record deal or something like that. I was scouted out in a um, karaoke bar and I researched the particular person. He was legitimate, but I looked at the different people that he um, sponsored or was the, um, what's the word for? He was, uh, 
what do you call them? They're uh, agent. Yeah, an agent. And I noticed like these people were dressed very like provocatively. And I'm like, I don't want to be dressing like that. I don't want to be turned. I didn't know about the Satanist stuff of it, but it's like, as much as I needed the money, I didn't go after it because I knew in my, in my heart that I'd probably get myself into a lot of trouble going in that direction. So I actually blocked myself. Um, but as far as like even singing in church and everything and other things like that, I was blocked all the time because I was too sinful or something like that. So take it as a compliment because <laughs> I feel like, um, your gifts, Rachel will be bursting forth and be rebirthing. And, uh, we got two of one, so that's planning. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be quick with mine. Um, so I got messenger of fire, which is our night of fire. So this is moving fast. This is moving fast towards you. Think about what's going on in the now moment with the collective. And I loved this. We have the queen of cups energy. So using healing and soothing with the voice, but we also have the Hierophant aspect in next to this, which means that it's spiritual leader, spiritual gifts. So you're definitely going to bring your spiritual gifts online with your voice. And then I want to just draw attention. She's holding a flute. So there's the frequency of music Ooh. with my four of wands. This is my portal happy energy. So they're telling me, keep picturing it, no matter how much downfall has felt. It's been for a reason because it's about to come into fruition in a bigger, better way. Better. I mean, tenfold better is what I'm hearing. So yeah, yeah. I say, I say yes. <laughs> <It's a step. laughs> yes. Rachel, yay. Good job, Rachel. You'll have to, Rachel, you'll have to come on a show with us before you release your new, your new record in the new year. So you can give us a live performance of your music. Oh. <laughs> All right. So this is from Yulia. I hope I'm saying your, your name white, uh, right. Y U L I A Yulia. Hi guys. I love your show. Thank you for bringing clarity, empowering us question. What, what year is it going to be for me? Any breakthroughs feeling stuck for years now, girl, I feel your pain. I think we're all in that kind of weird, almost hanged man position. So what is Yulia's year going to be for her? Is she going to have any breakthroughs this year? You're so funny. I had the hanged man in my head and you're like hanged man position. She learned a lot during this hanged man position though, even though it was frustrating, I feel like she learned like so much about herself, so much about whatever she was researching. I don't know why I said researching, but whatever she was researching too. So it was, it was for a purpose, but it's going to burst her through here soon. I've been seeing that for a lot of people, like the move through the portal energy. Yeah. But let's see what is coming for her this year. I think Steph will be on it first. Definitely getting starseed energy. I almost feel like she's blocking herself a little bit. And I mean that in not a bad way. I'm, I, I block myself sometimes, but um, I'm getting these two cards in the spread. So I feel like it might be having to do with a confidence problem like um i've had this problem so I'm, I'm not saying it in a mean way at all um this is just a part of growing in our spiritual gifting like if you've gone your whole entire life thinking you know you were nobody or you were put down so many times you tend to lack that confidence that you have so i feel like she will gain her her spiritual clarity and she will be unblocked. Like I said, there was starseed energy in there. Or this could be something she's been wishing for, like wishing upon a star, not to get like, you know, all mushy there. But um, let me see. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this next year she's going to be um, walking toward all of her spiritual gifting and she'll have an unblockage and start figuring out who she truly is. I think that's good. I keep getting this for a lot of people. Like I had a lot of questions like that on my community wall too, trying to figure out who they are and why they feel is so blocked. And I also tell people too, sometimes your blocking is actually a cloaking yeah. for your own good. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't mean there's any, like I'm cloaked to some degree. Like I have certain blockages. I mean, I'm trying to get out of that, but at the same time, sometimes you just have to accept it a little bit because there's a reason behind it. Yeah. And with star seeds too, this is a, like Steph said, I'm getting a lot of the same stuff coming up too. A lot of star seeds too. Um, I was told by, by someone's collective or soul family, they were telling me that she would miss home too much if she knew too much 
Um, so I thought that was really sweet and that really resonated with me. But I do just want to affirm what Steph said too. I got called. So her call coming in to a fires is the movement towards that. Um, just hold on a little bit longer and move through whatever mental battle. Because I saw a mental, I actually saw a mental bo- uh, battle in her head too. Like Steph yeah. did. So move through your mental battle. Try and take care of yourself to the best of your ability. Yeah, the make, hold internal, on to the movement. Internal struggle, conflict yeah. within. Yeah. When we go through it too, it's not like just because we're reading the cards doesn't mean we're not through our own mental battles as well. Like we're all yeah. in different stages of this. We're, we're all just we're all coming online little by little, just trying to figure out who the heck we are. I'm a hot mess. I think we're all a hot mess. So. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. We may we might look like uh we might look like we're cool comic collecting on camera, but we're off camera. We're texting each other. We're like, what the hell is going What's on? What's going on? But, but that might make people feel better too to know that like we think this is nuts too by the yeah. way like we think everything out there is crazy too so <laughs> we're, yeah, we're no, there we're all we're all of this i mean when i say we're walking each other home we're literally oh, walking yeah. each other home 100%. Right now. We're all like what the hell's happening so so yep oh, so yeah. have fun just have fun while you're a hot mess i mean we get on yeah. camera we do our dance yes yeah. <laughs> we laugh we joke and then we cry a little bit. And we cry yeah. a lot. <laughs> Wait, we need to cry a lot. <laughs> I, st- I need so, Steph to sing the sun will come out tomorrow because that's... The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Bravissimo. It's coming. It's coming. And if it that's doesn't not my real singing voice. <laughs> well, if it doesn't come, we're just going to abort mission, go back to our home planet to make our own little, <laughs> little, <laughs> little harmonious world. I know every... <laughs> So to let the audience know, every time I get the sun card now, I start singing that song. She does. <laughs> yep. She does. All right, guys. So this is from Tam. She's T- T-A-M. I think it's a female. Um, if, I, if it's correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, guys. Uh, love the energy you th- three bring. I'd love to know if the message I've been getting through my dousing is true, that the youngest, that the soul of my youngest son is Liren. Lyron, we, I never, I can never say that right. That's like my home galaxy. And I can never say it right. He's only two. And I feel that from day one, he was brought a lot of warmth and light, particularly for those around him. So is her son. So it is, it is a female. Okay. Um, Lyron, Lyron, is he, is he one of us tribe of Judah? I wonder if he likes lions a lot. He's that's that was my favorite. Yeah. If, is that what he does? He like lions, the lion of Judah, right? I'm getting the same thing with my my pendulum that she is. It started with an L, and I I just went ahead and I asked if it was Lyra. Um, so yes, yes. Thank you for anchoring that energy. It's really exciting. <laughs> of course, what she got. I actually I got a message for her too. Of course, what you got was correct. She needs to know that like not to doubt herself or her abilities when she's tapping into this too, because she has the abilities to do that as well. Because think about this too. She needs to like, it's sorry, this is just what's coming in. She just, she just needs to know that like in order to birth a child from that star system too, you do have to be of a certain frequency yourself. So she's definitely magic. She's a high frequency being herself. And she needs to understand that like what she's getting. Yes. I'm hearing a yes. So like, yes, what you're getting. Yes. <laughs> to all well, of it. He definitely, he definitely signed up for this. <laughs> Because this is what karma, um, and, but I, Dharma probably in this case. Yeah, um, Dharma's life path. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So here for this time in place for this uh, battle of, I guess, Armageddon or the final battle. Um, I feel like there's a military vibe here. Um, I'm not getting any aces around it, but I'm, I'm definitely intuitively feeling a yes. I think the, the fact that she's a- asking the question um is saying yes you know yeah. she's also picking up on certain frequencies um that are indicating in her own in- intuitive state that her son is from there um uh, let's see is she from I, there i got a hit about him um they just told me multiple star systems but lyra was yes an incarnation so that's why they're not giving you a solid yes is there's been he's he's an advanced soul he's been in multiple star systems i think after this I think he advances to the final, like he gets to like, like you said, Taylor, about putting your sword down. He yeah. he's he he'll accomplish everything after this. It's exciting. 
all the babies that are coming yeah. through. He's, the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful sun card. That that deck Isn't is it? absolutely Isn't beautiful to me. Yeah, that deck really resonates with me. And he came for the grid, so he came to help the grid. He might even be rebuilding um, part of the new. So that's really exciting, whatever information he's going to bring. But you guys have actually had lives together. You may have incarnated in a different star system together, too. The Six of Cups is always that familiarity energy. Um, but I really, really like his soul. He, he, I don't think he normally would incarnate on Earth unless the Earth was shifting. And that's why I think she, uh, Steph got the Wheel of Fortune, too. I think he's here, literally, like Steph said, for this now moment. It's time specifically because, for this time. Yeah. I think he, if he's two years old, he's a, uh, that would be the crystal child. Um, uh, grouping and they're going to be um very beneficial in teaching the um the humans like telepathy um grounding all, like all those spiritual gifts um they're they're very very high energy uh high frequency children yeah that's exciting it is exciting all right. So this one's from Samantha. She said, hi, Bryce. Thank you for everything you do to keep us informed. It is well appreciated. Appreciate you too, Samantha. We're all doing this together. Y'all are on this journey with me. So she said, question, what is my sole purpose? I am so confused with all this information coming out. And I need to know where I should plant my feet. Thank you all so much for sharing with us. Love all of you. Love you too, Samantha. So what's Samantha's sole purpose? I love that we're at a stage in our timeline where people are actually asking these questions though. No. You know, that's pretty special that people are actually wondering not, not what I'm going to do when I grow up or to make money, but what is my purpose? What's my soul's journey here? I, I just saw her um, third eye chakra uh, go purple. Ooh. There's like an amethyst. I feel like she's becoming enlightened at this point. And that's probably why she's asking the question that makes oh, sense yeah and I also feel like I just I got the message too that like she will know and she does know so I know that sounds cheesy but she will know and she does know in her like in her knowing she knows why she's here but sometimes it doesn't come online I almost feel like she's fulfilled a lot of purposes and missions she's had many but for me it feels like her big mission is like coming and I know that's cheesy and I know but like, I do feel like her mission's coming and I'm also going to read her path of the soul too. So this is the frequency. Also look at that golden with the purple that is enlightenment as well as like uh, Steph said with the purple too, the amethyst, the psychic abilities, the protection around that too. But I'll read this real quick and then I'll let Steph take over with the tarot. Wow. She's a very, very connected, um, like almost like the channel's really clear. I don't know if she automatic writes, but if she needs to start writing she might get more information in so this is universal connection the guidance you are now receiving is truly universal take time daily to connect with your guides and angels they wish to connect with you as much as you wish to connect with them they are working oh my god they're working close with you at this time and be encouraged to journal this is a great story you are writing it is unique to you write poetry if you feel emotions dreams of synchronicity events occur and this is uh, experience of spirituality into writing and i didn't remember that so it's weird i saw her journaling too okay so there you go Oh, amazing. Well, well, as you're talking about the journaling part, yeah. I looked at that Ace of Wands and I'm like, hmm, that kind of looks like a pen or yeah. a pencil, right? That's when they say like, about the pen, what is the pen? It's mightier than the sword. Oh, I like so that. So what's going to come out in this this weird little battle we're in? What, what, what could you find from automatic writing? Mm. Go on, something. And her story too, Bryce. Sorry, I was just, I was seeing what you were seeing in your head and I was like, and her story. <laughs> like the Hobbit, when he like finishes his story and he lets Frodo write the next story. I don't know. That's really resonating with me. Like she's going to get to finish her story soon. Yeah. Because we're going from the dark to the light. I think you see this line right here. I'm seeing this as the point where she will come online when we're going into that transitional period. I feel like, so we have the Empress and the Emperor card. I feel like she might actually collaborate with either a male um, in her life, um, in her sole purpose, whether that be like a twin flame, like we were just talking about, just, okay, yeah. you know, an ordinary guy who's just got maybe similar talents or a similar uh, venture in the future. And then what's interesting is you talk about writing. We have um, that uh, seven of cups. Oh, shoot. I'm thinking six of cups. 
Um, seven of cups can be like confusion and stuff like that. But let me pull some clarifying cards. I don't know why I was thinking six of cups there for a second. I think, too, I think right now, I think this is common. I think a lot of us, yeah. drink, we're still, if you look back at the card, that stuff was just showing up with the darkness to light. We're like right at the edge of that line, but we're still kind of in that hazy, dark area. And I can just see it as the darkness gets to light, we're in like a gray area before it flips. Mm. So you might start experiencing, um, just from my own experience, uh, downloads, weird things happening. You're starting to hear, connect more with your spirit guides, um, but you're still not quite sure what, how, what your life is going to look like in, in the new world, but that's going to come. That information will come. I mean, listen, how, how many times a day do I text you guys asking, are you sure? Are you sure how this is going to happen? And you're like, don't worry about it. You'll know when you know, you know? So I think this is common. So for those of you who are feeling like really insecure right now and like on shaky ground, you're not alone. You're not alone. And a lot of us have had, that's part of coming back to third density is having the veil put over you. Yes. So it's, it's normal. What you're experiencing is normal. So don't, don't freak out too much. <laughs> I think the seven of cups just came to me. I feel like she is cloaked right now because this is a card where like there's, there might be some confusion on what's going on and everything because we haven't yet reached 100% onto this side of the two of pentacles. Mm. And then um, we have like a transitional card, two transitional cards right here. Yeah. So I almost wonder if there might be even a little bit of a relocation going on, seeing that boat right there. But whatever it is that you're definitely going to be celebrating in the near future. So whatever that is, it's going to come online very shortly. And like I said, it's probably going to come online when we cross over that threshold right there. I love that card. I think that card just describes it so much. I, that's my favorite two of pentacles because it says so much. Like I can... Like, yeah. I don't necessarily have to read the two of pentacles the way two of pentacles is read because yeah. this particular picture says it all. Yes. Like, I, I like the pictures more than the meanings of the cards. <laughs> when you're in a dark room, can you see clearly? No. The light has to be turned on. And so right now, we're waiting for that light to be turned on. And we got we to gotta turn that light on together. And so, mm -hmm. and I know I, it's like preaching to the choir because they have to tell me this like every single day. So, um, <laughs> so... Like, Jeez, God, when you flip in the switch, when you flip in the switch. Yep. Yep. No yep. longer stuff. Okay. The human in me is like, come on. <laughs> oh, come on, time. Please. <laughs> All right. So, speaking of twin flames. So this is from somebody named Zinnia. I hope I'm saying your name right. Zinnia's way. Uh, Z-I-N-N-I-A apostrophe S way. Zinnia's way. Hi, ladies. I'm so grateful that you are coming together and doing this amazing work. Us too. Thank you so much. <laughs> it inspires me for sure. Oh, thank you. I'm just wondering if you could ask the cards, do I really have a twin flame? If it, if, is it really who I think it is? <laughs> if, what should I do about it? Thanks so much. What's your name again? Zinnia. I hope I'm saying that right. Zinnia. Z-I-N-N-I-A. Uh, -N -N Zinnia. Sounds like a flower. Beautiful name. I hope I'm saying that right. Mm. Whoa. You got something, Taylor? I feel like, okay. So I feel like she knows and I feel like it's really fast. Like these are one of the, like these are the two fastest cards. Maybe it's even the energy of him coming towards you. And I'm actually getting, well, this is cheesy, but this is like the union card, the marriage card. If we read it traditionally, if I don't read it traditionally, I don't say that. But since we're talking about that kind of union, it does feel like this is some sort of union coming together and you guys have a legacy. So whatever you're building or creating together, not only is it abundant with the earth and connection with earth, it's also like legacy card too. So this could be bringing your guys's legacy. Um, but right now they don't want you to know that much. And it's not because you're not worthy about it. And it's not, it's like, 
trust that inner knowing that you already have and stop questioning yourself because you'll know at the most perfect time. It does feel like that energy is there though, but there's something they're like not a hundred percent going to let you know yet. And that could be go back to the shift we were seeing for everyone in their missions too. So I'll let, I'll let stuff take over, but very similar to my three that I got. That's the same as you Taylor. So I get an ace of pentacles there. Okay. Um, and like you said, Taylor, uh, the timing is, is, um, really what it's all about right now because we have the death so death of the old world a rebirthing of the new world walking away from the old and walking toward the new with that card so i think that um this uh union union i i got it too the four of wands the union will come together after we've been after we step into this new world um there's definitely a lot of abundance in this i got too we're getting and, similar um, yeah I feel like it's going to give her, give them a lot of peace. I think there might be maybe past turmoil, maybe relationship problems, but this might be like, you know, when you find somebody that truly is your match, you don't have any um, insecurities about it. So this card normally means rest. So I feel like it, it kind of brings them peace of mind. Like it's a, it's like a, I'm in a relationship where I'm not worrying or anything like that. Oh, I feel so completely at ease. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it, it complements your soul more than it doesn't. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got, as, as, you know, because I, I know that with the whole twin flame thing, like like we were taught, we actually started the show off with this. Um, I think the hangman also, as far as like the cloaking is involved, is you, because we are still actively in this battle. And so what the good, the good knows, so does the bad. And so if you and your twin have a, a, have a huge job to do, then they're going to do everything they can to try to stop that. And so that might be why there's some cloaking going on. There might be, that might be some of the reasons why you, you're not energetically in the same area right now is because it's for your protection to preserve the integrity of that work as well. So, um, but very fascinating. All right, let's see here. So this is from Morgan. Morgan said, hi, ladies. Love all three of you and your energies. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming together and helping us through this time. Our pleasure. Y'all are helping us, though, too. We're literally, like, walking with you guys home. <laughs> so y'all are helping us, too. My question is, is my purpose in the new world to be a healer of some sort? I feel like I'm on the verge of discovering what I need to be doing, but it's not clear yet. Any insight? I feel drawn to the astro and crystals, but not sure why. Thank you. Because she's done it before. Like, I'm just, it's, it's going to come to physical fruition. It's something she's drawn to because she's done it before. And I'll actually give you guys something too. So I had a BQH session um, the other day and she could see all of her gifts before her. But there was this like layer of ice. And she like couldn't get quite through the ice yet. And, you know, you're trying to punch through it, but she's just hurting herself trying to punch through it. Sorry, I'm seeing this in my head again. Um, trying to punch through that ice when in all reality, the ice shall melt at the most perfect time. And she'll be able to reach those gifts and those knowings when she needs to, which sucks because it goes full circle to exactly what we've been saying this whole time about like things coming together. Um, but she's going to walk away from whatever she was doing. It may even be like she's had off planet healing, um, techniques too. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, but also she's bringing off planet healing techniques or old ways, old ways, like the old crystal ways. And that's why she's so drawn to it, but it will come to physical manifestation soon, which is awesome. But I'll let stuff take over from there. Oh, after the tower, maybe after the tower. Maybe? I think the brick shell, I think it's starting it's to after the tower. It's after the tower. Heard. <laughs> look, at the, look at how pretty that death card is. Beautiful death card. <laughs> I like it. it that's, that's a great tattoo right there. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I think okay. we should. Oh, I think all of us should be getting some some tattoos in honor of the of the uh, bro tats. That's true. We've got. It. <laughs> So, and we survived a lot of a lot of galactic collectives have tattoos um like light tattoos i, I have them on my higher self so yeah it's normal I, without doing the cards i i heard the word alchemy she's very good with alchemy mm -hmm. because if she's um into the crystals and the astrology it's like air and earth coming together like i i just i see her in previous lives um and i mean this as a white a white witch type of thing like almost making a brew of something healing um yeah she's she's a healer yeah the sun, it's ways. like a big crystal right there it's like she she's um she's definitely a light worker i'm almost feeling too like either maybe angelic like there's something angelic about her 
with that temperance card. I don't know. I, I'm like, I'm picturing it. I'm trying to decipher if it's more like star seed or of the angelic realm um, cool. incarnation. I, uh, I was working with, with a being and they said you can even look at angelic beings as galactic because they're not in our dimension. So does that make sense in a sense? Like she could be from a different dimension and that might bring us some clarity, but definitely the healing of the angelic yeah. kingdom. Yeah. I get the queen of cups. Queen of cups is like super loving and uh, healing, passionate because those cups are just very emotional. I feel like she's very in touch with her emotions and very in touch with her intuition. Yeah. Um, so which, which would happen. make you a good healer um, as well. Awesome. Yeah. So I have another question kind of along the same lines. This is from Marnie. And I love that name, Marnie, by the way. That's a name I have in my registrar of all names that I would particularly give a child. Marnie is one of them. So I love that name. So as Marnie said, hi, ladies. Love you all working together. Great energy. Question in the new world. Should I be doing some kind of healing work. I feel drawn to energy work. And I was wondering if it this was the direction I should go. Now, Mark, we're going to have a whole army yeah, of healers. I know, I know, I know. I mean, this is going to be amazing. And I think, if, I think again, we said this last week, if you're already asking this question, you if know, you're drawn to something, you're drawn to it for a reason, just go with it. And it can't hurt you. This is not like something that if you decide to, to start studying this or, taking classes on this that it's going to ever backfire no it's only going to bring you more wisdom and information it can't hurt you you know but let's see what the cards say i split the deck in two and i get the magician and the higher font i feel like she's going to have some sort of spiritual leadership i don't know i, I looked at it and i'm like this this feels right so we're gonna go with it um I heard, and you shall do it again. So it's like she's normally a spiritual leader. That's something she does normally. Well, if you haven't gotten in touch with your guides or anybody's guides, they're quite comical. They're Listen, quite my grandmother is a guide. Taylor can tell you how comical she is. <laughs> she was running. So thank you, Steph. But yeah, I, uh, yeah, it was it was emotional, but it was also like she was running past Stephanie making jokes. Like uh, Steph was like, "Is she here?" And she ran past Stephanie, and I was like, uh, "Is she funny, Steph? Is she funny?" Steph was like, "Oh yeah." I was like, "Yeah, she's making fun of you right now." She was the funniest <laughs> woman I knew in my life. I all, and it's so funny because and this goes to show you, death is just an illusion. I feel my grandmother more now, her presence now more with her off the earth plane than I did when she was alive because a lot of distance usually separated us. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she was comical. Guides mm. are funny. Oh, they, oh they're, yeah. They're, they're just like, and you'll do it again. Like they're kind of funny and they're terrible spellers, aren't they? They're terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know <laughs> anything. If you ever do a pendulum board, they don't know. How, it's kind of comical and they can't, but that's okay. It's not their language. So whatever. Yeah. Um, all right. This question's a little bit, a little, all the questions are serious, but this one, um, is for Sharon. And so I hope we can give her some clarity. Um, first of all, Sharon, I thank you for trusting us with this information. Um, she says, hi, beautiful souls. Bryce, I'm so beyond grateful that I stumbled upon your life today. I think my little girl is calling out to me to find her. Can I ask you angels about my daughter? Her phone was taken away by my ex and he says she doesn't want to talk to me. We are very close and I can't believe that she would not want to be home at Christmas. No call on her birthday in October or the winter solstice. We always, always celebrate, especially new and full moons. No one like no one can reach her. He has deleted her entire family and friends, even our telegram account. She's just gone. And I'm going on my third cancer surgery and still waiting to hear a word from her. He says he told her, but there is no way she would not reach out. Is she missing? Is she alive? Is she trapped? I'm really getting worried. She's just gone from all of our lives and he is getting away with doing it somehow. Please help me with so much love and gratitude. Sharon, I am so, so, so sorry. And we are going to do our best to see what, um, what spirit will tell us about your situation. I was trying to remote view too, but. A word of encouragement beings that are that narcissistic will not be allowed to be that way in the new world. No, they won't. They won't be able to stay here. No. Oh, my throat shocker. I feel like this is like taking over her, like Sharon's entire like throat third, like it's like all up here. So it might be really affecting her mental body. Yeah. 
the worry. But the good thing about this card, and I know like this is an anxiety card and a stress card, and we're trying to be very careful too, but like these are worries that aren't truths. So hopefully these constant worries repeating in your head are just a hidden, the hidden thing is that she's just being kept from you from a narcissist, right? Like hopefully these thoughts are just illusions or um, what they want you to think too. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's the not seven bad. Of swords? Is that the seven of swords? That'll be the nine of swords. Cause I pulled the seven of swords as she, as you guys were. Oh, so that would say that, yeah, that's like a snagging, a stealing. Yeah. So best case scenario, her ex is just a freaking narcissist who is keeping her from her and she's, she's safe. She's fine. Okay. I have some info once you're done, Taylor. Well, I was just saying, I think she's protected and she's going to be healed if, if there's something going on in the year now, but go ahead, Steph, I'll let you move forward. Okay. So I don't think she doesn't want to contact Sharon. Um, so Sharon, I think she does want to be in contact with you. I think she's being blocked um, by a very narcissistic father who is, it, this guy is like kind of guarding the gate right there. Like he won't allow her to pass a certain point. Um, it looks like he's got, he's full of secrets. He's not, he's, I'm getting like, he's a very shady person. Um, Again, like I said, he's not going to be able to survive on a fourth density positive planet um, like that. I feel like they're going to come together soon. That's that. Mm -hmm. This card specifically talks about reuniting with people. Yeah, yeah let's get the temperance card too, because that, that can mean like angels protecting her, off worlders protecting, protecting her. Yeah. She's protected, and yeah. the union will come back together with the family, with, the, with Sharon and her daughter. Yeah, I think so too. And I think it's just illusion, and he wants you to think that. Like, he wants you to think that. Yeah. This is the bottom of the deck, the ace of swords. So that's the hand of the most high with his sword. I feel like he's going to take down the demon so you can be back with your daughter. Yeah. I hope that helps, Sharon. I hope that, yeah, I hope that sorry. Sense. That's yeah, awful. Yeah. And I've been in a situation where my son's father withheld my son from, you know, seeing me for a day. But that was painful enough. I can't even imagine what she's going through right now. So. Well, this next one's from Melissa. She says, I'm curious about why I feel so stuck in my life. This seems to be a very common theme, right? The club. <laughs> I have quite a bit of knowledge about natural and spiritual things, but I struggle with applying them consistently in my life. Thank you. Before they even um, pull the cards, Melissa, I did an uh, episode yesterday with Cindy, which this is going to air on Friday. So Wednesday, it's my episode with Cindy aired. We were talking about pranayama and breathing stuff with yoga. And I'm going to tell you, one thing Cindy said that she brought up that I thought was so important. I'm going to reiterate this. Anytime you, you are involved in spiritual work, it, it doesn't, it can be two minutes of breathing exercise, two minutes of sitting quietly. It doesn't have, everything counts. Everything counts. So don't feel like because you're not applying these practices consistently, that they're not counting. Even if they're inconsistent right now, every time you do something, every time you work on yourself, it's counting. So I wanted to go ahead and put that out there, but go ahead, ladies. Let's see what, what spirit wants us to know. Actually, my cards are pretty much saying what you said, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really, yeah. She's doing certain things and, and it will keep coming to her. I think the more she does it, and this is a very quick card, so she might be even getting some upgrades and downloads um, coming in that will upgrade her so she can do it more and more because the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I, 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 I'm so light codes coming into her so you know coming from my personal standpoint i'm the same exact way i don't know if it has a lot to do with my ab blood or what you know we know how that goes but um i get consistent with certain things and then i drop it all of a sudden and i'm not consistent with doing certain things myself um and that's been my personality and my battle this lifetime as well um but i'm learning to just continue to do it regardless of how much I feel it's helping me or not is that because oh, your work will show. Yeah, absolutely. And I just wanted to say, I want to affirm what Steph said about the light codes, um, allow those codes to come in rather than force. And what I mean by that is exactly what Bryce said. Whenever you're doing these practices, the fact that you just did it, that's wonderful. Or the fact that you felt joy, that's wonderful. And that's when it goes back to that breaking of the ice. You don't have to break anything. Everything will come to you and, and, and accept that that, and then also like trust yourself and the faith in the process 
So this is faith in the process, but it also makes me feel like trust yourself and how you're moving forward too. And that it will come online at the most perfect time. Because like I group step, I think she's getting light codes and that healing stuff will come to surface and fruition exactly when it needs to. And you need, you have to have intermittent rest in between those upgrades too. So I think a lot of the times when we feel that fatigue or that non-motivational feeling where we're like stuck, it's like you're ready to be upgraded to the next new level. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And, um, and yeah, if, if the humans, if human salvation depended upon consistency, we'd be screwed. Ooh, yeah. so, I'd be really screwed. <laughs> don't even worry about that. All right. Okay. So this is from Patricia. She said, thank you, beautiful, beautiful souls for all you do. I'd like to know if my family is being attacked by an entity, whether it is using clinging to my grand granddaughter and what, uh, what needs to be done? Sh should this be true? Love, light, and blessings for you and all our soul family. So she actually said that she adopted her granddaughter, but she feels like this entity has been clinging to her since birth, and her granddaughter is five now. I would just like do home practices too, whether it's like sage spray or sage your house, just so you feel better and give yourself a peace of mind there too. Just, just so you have a peace of mind. Because sometimes what happens to me is like, I'll feel these energies or feel energy and I'm like, whoa, that feels off. But if I sage like my space and myself and my aura, like I start to actually feel a little bit better too. So just, if you feel like you need protection in your home, just selenite, black tourlamine, like just feel, do the little steps you can to feel a little bit protected yourself too. If that's you get to get her a little necklace or something. Yeah. That's a great idea for the granddaughter. Just buy her piece. Yeah. That's what I got. It. I, I can put a link to where I got this. If you guys, if that's something, I don't know how big her neck is, but you could get a little piece of jewelry for her to wear it, you know, if that makes you, yeah. oh, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't realize you were done. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I feel like she's definitely being spiritually attacked because I have, I have an ace of cups. I feel like she's being attacked though because she's so, she's of the light. I'm, I'm seeing her in white. Um, and it's not going to last very long because we do have a justice card like that. But what I would say to, is it Patricia? Patricia, yes. Just keep loving her and showing her love. And part of maybe showing her love is, yeah, the protecting um, of the space, like Taylor was saying with the different selenite or the tourmaline and stuff like that, or maybe with the necklace, um, sage spray or whatnot. Yeah. Um, she's not going to stay like that. Cause again, I mean, these entities are attaching to the light because they know their time is done. Yeah. Yeah. They want to disorient her. I got the natively aspected hair fault myself. So yeah, it's like they want to disorient her because she's bringing not only transformation to herself, but trans uh, transformation to the world. And I want to affirm what Stephanie said too. I got the six of air, which is clear waters moving on as well. But I, I just, I feel like she's like, oh my gosh, look at that queen of wands energy. She's bringing a very intuitive, bright energy. And like, exactly like Steph said, you be this for her too. Like you be that little bright light, even though there's stuff going on. And it's, it's just because she's under attack because of what she's bringing literally. And it's going to get better. Like, like, so, like, I mean, this is the sword. Swords are fairly fast. <laughs> I mean, imagine how great her purpose is if the darkness is attaching to her. Um, and I hate to be bringing this to my own personal life too, but I like to give kind of like some feedback from my personal life because sometimes it helps not knowing you're not alone in this. My son was spiritually attacked too. Most of his life. He's a teenager. And then I did the heavy metal detoxation and I'm trying to teach him about crystals and stuff like that um, because he does have a very high frequency level. He does have a high purpose. So her granddaughter probably has such a high purpose and the dark does not want that coming out on the air because, you know, then that brings them down. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I pulled the judgment card as well. So I think it's done. I think it's almost done. Just love her, mm -hmm. help her out. She's five. She's still a little kid. Play with her um, and know that it's not going to last forever. All right, we're going to go through two more questions for the for this episode, and this is interesting because Anthea, I think, is your name, Anthea, A N T H E A, Anthea. So she said, "Hello, beautiful women," but she spelled it like womb, <laughs> woman. Oh, which, um, <laughs> Taylor, uh, Stephanie, and I have been doing a lot of work um, off air as well together as light workers and we were talking a lot about the womb yeah fertile energy we're in that fertile energy aren't we 
Yep. So, and uh, yeah, that's very interesting. She said that she said, I am, I am in full gratitude for the space you hold for healing and expanding consciousness. Thank you. My question is her question. Am I ready to step out into the world and share my message? Is the world ready to receive my message and the nature of my work? If yes, do you see, do you see me sharing my message with Bryce and the beautiful beings who listen in? And that's why it was so interesting. She said womb because she tapped into something that we've been talking about off camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. for sure, man. Isn't that amazing how that happens. That telepathy. It's amazing. Human. I'm just like in shock over that. This is like, this is like some of the funnest part of this whole. Thing. I know. Right. Yeah. Like we get well, to little Nancy Drews of the human mind and consciousness. I also want to say something too. So there's this card in the work your light deck and Steph has this deck. It's really pretty and they popped it in my head. So it's really cool. Like you can speak Oracle and tarot with each other, but like, um, so Steph will know what I'm talking about. I think Bryce has seen that deck before too, but it's a cave and she's wearing this long gown and it's flowing behind her. And it says, share your voice, come out of the cave. That's what I saw in my head. Yeah. It's time. It's time. Oh my God. It's definitely time. <laughs> Anthea. It's like really time. <laughs> For real, it's time. Anthea, Anthea, I hope I'm saying your name right, but will you please send me an email um, at esotericatlanta at gmail.com? And I need for you to put in the subject line your name because um, I'm so flooded with emails. I don't want to miss it. So will you please email me at esotericatlanta at gmail.com? And uh, maybe I can get you on with Taylor and Stephanie and me and we can move forward with that since the universe is like go time. You got all those aces. So it has a story. And also with it's interesting with the cup, um, with the ace of cups, plus talking about the womb energy. I just saw like a womb with that ace of cups to the birthing rebirth to cycle. She's going to bring a story that her story assists with that too. So that's fascinating. Uh, I got a little chill bumps when I was reading before I even read that message. She was like, <gasps> got some chill bumps. So, <gasps> so please email me Anthea just, or Anthea. You can tell me how to pronounce your name properly and, um, and we'll move forward from there. So Stephanie, what'd you get? I wonder if her story has anything to do about letting go of a particular divine masculine or a masculine energy. Um, I wonder if she was in some sort of um, toxic relationship of some sort. Um, but she's worked really, really hard at getting through it. And she's actually had to die uh, uh, to, of herself and rebirth herself out. She's had many disappointments, but going forward, she's going to have the blessing. And I would say, yes, she needs to contact you, Bryce, with those two <laughs> cards to reach out and share her story going forward. Absolutely. Okay, so, Anthea, I'm going to get, so I, you have my email address. Ladies, can we give her another backup email address? Because we know you that my- can, um, email my group. Okay, so I'm going to put, um, Anthea, Anthea, I'm going to put both the emails in the description box. If you email me at Esoteric Atlanta, you do not hear back from me in a couple of days. It's probably because it just got slammed and pushed. Um, so go ahead and email the other email address. I'm going to put it as well. Um, to Stephanie, so we can get you get since the universe seems very um, insistent that you do share this message, go ahead and send us both an email so we can make sure we get the contact with you. All right, so I'm actually going to do the share screen for the last question, which was the first question I had on my list here. And all the other questions guys will do, uh, we'll do next week. Um, so don't if we didn't get to your question today, don't worry, it's coming. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. And this is why I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see the screen um, and read the screen with me because there's a lot of words here we can't say. So this is from Earth Heart. Hi, Bryce. I'm from the UK. We have almost com completed an absolute massive, uh, I'm just going to say spa because I want to be really careful with the algorithms here in the south of England. So uh, you guys see what that actual word is right there. There is a spa in the south of England. Mm -hmm. There is also a crematorium attached to it, newly built to go with the spa, which is unusual for spas in the UK. We'll call that um, a, a steam room, a steam room at the spa in the UK. There is rife speculation that the spa has been built for normal people, we'll say normal people, humanity. Can you please do a rating on this? Many thanks. So I hope you guys can see that. Can y'all see the actual question here? When you said spa, Bryce, 
I think that divinely was orchestrated to let you know what it actually is. Yeah, same. I'd like to. Did you get that, that download too? Yeah, we got the exact same thing. And I also want to say, <laughs> I love like, it. It's almost like jokes on. I heard so my team said jokes on them. So jokes on the people who built that, like jokes on them, right? It's really, a, it looked military or white hat to me. And I loved that J- yeah. James comment. That's exactly what I was like. I was like, look at that comment. Yeah. You have to understand how many people are in this club. You, you can't just send them all to one spot. You got to have multiple spots. So that steam room right here that we're talking about that's attached to the spa, the new, new, new upgraded steam room. Is that something for, um, the celebs will say the celebs will oh, love this. Yeah. Oh, wow. But- My cards are spelling it out. Sh- I almost swore there, but that's okay. You know, it's okay, that's okay. bad. <laughs> They're not censored. It's well, yeah. shit, son. The cards spell it out. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Steph, because I feel, I feel the okay. same. <laughs> um, I don't know if you want to be able to have my cards show more on the screen here. Oh, here. All right. Yes. Okay, so this is celebration because, yeah, this is for those those guys. It's not in the open. It's coming out in the open. I feel like we got some of these guys working over there. Yeah, this is this is this is um, this is orchestrated by the off worlders. Yeah, it's for when we're it's it's because we're going into this new world. It temporarily looks scary. Yeah. I just pulled one of my Mr. T cards too. You got the same cards as me. <laughs> you literally have the same cards sitting here, Steph. I, I literally can't even. <laughs> yeah, it looks scary. It's te- it's temporarily going to look like a scary thing. It yeah. Um, and and the download I was getting is it it it's trying to wake up the normies so that they're like, what what they're going to do what with who? It, it starts letting their brain maybe kind of work to some degree, and I don't mean that meanly, but you know um. It's the deprogramming. Yeah. It's the it, it's exactly, but it will come out in the open. Yeah, we're worrying for no good reason. Yeah, so our probably don't worry. Hey, friends, it's be okay. The new spa with the steam room. It's yeah. not. It's not for you guys. It's for the celebrities. Yeah, it's so that people won't go into a civil W A R. Like if you if people knew right now what it really was, it might create a lot of this riot or R O R I O T. I N G. I can't spell in my head. Can I ask one final question? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Just, Oh, justice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is Boris is, Oh, Boris. Is he at the spa? And he's, Isn't the, he's, that's not the real. Yeah. That's not the real one. That guy's not, he's not the real one. Yeah. No. Has the real one been to the spa in the UK? Has he been in that steam room? It look. I mean, it looks like, it looks like, I mean, that guy's. Oh yeah. He's, yeah, that guy's, he's, gone, so. he's either really, really captured or really, really in a bad spot at the spa or they're about to exit him or something very soon. So I hope that makes you guys feel better in the UK. I know, I think we're quite lucky here in the United States because I have heard from many different channels that they don't want us in the United States to be an as tricky of a situation as people in other countries because we still have these and so people that aren't um totally aware of what's happening could actually use these to overthrow um certain celebrities we'll say trying to code this so we we have it quite easy in the united states compared to a lot of people right now but we do understand how much is going on in other countries and we are very aware of of the fear and we are very aware of of all of our fellow humans um humanity's hard work and patience and endurance during this time. And so for everybody in the UK, Canada, Australia, all these places that are really struggling, France, Germany, anywhere that's really, really, really going hardcore, taking that hardcore left, um, please know that we, we are sending you our love and we understand what's happening. And and we, we noticed that. And um, hopefully soon we'll all be able to go into a big celebration together because it was never us. It was always them. So what did you get Taylor? So you're so funny. Um, so, you know, like the hold the line thing, there's a lot of people who are like, Oh, I've been holding the line. I'm really, really tired. And they just trans transmuted it and transformed it for me. They said they watched like, it was like a, it, so it started with hold the line. And then I saw this like energy and then it said, hold the light. And then it moved the energy and it said, hold the heart center. I thought that was really, really sweet. So you guys are all holding the heart center, not only your own heart centers, but the heart center of Mother Earth too, as we go through this and the collective's heart centers. You guys being able to hold that thing, like we, like, thank you. Yeah, I can't, I can't even imagine. Like, I can't, you know. Yeah, I can't either. I mean, we're relatively 
completely free here in Georgia. I know you are in Florida. Yeah. Steph, you're a little bit eh, in your state, but. Oh, no, I, I we don't have any, uh, you know, um, I don't want to trust the algorithm. Suggestions? Word. Yeah, we don't, we don't have any. Um, I mean, you have to have the you know what to work for the most part. Mm. Um, but if I go into a store, I don't have to wear a face diaper. Um, unless I go into my favorite food store, that's the naturopath store out of all places. That's where I got to, that's, that's where so they make you wear it. Listen, as someone who works in the spiritual world as a Shala uh, authorized Ashtanga teacher, listen, um, if you are going to any type of spiritual place that is enforcing you to do things Boom. against your will, it's not a spiritual place. Boom. We have crystal shops all over here that mandate it. And I'm, I'm so sorry, but like, that's, it's infiltration of the spiritual community. Yeah. It's that's it. I'm sorry. I've said this before. That's light workers not working for the light. That's done. Any any sure. light worker out there that's that's following the darkness like this is not a light worker, no matter what they tell you. So that there should be no our shallow. We don't allow these in our shallow. Yeah. Heard. Um. Because you need to be free. So anyway, but all right, ladies. So that was so fun. I'm having so much fun. So guys, once again, I'm going to be placing their channel links down the, uh, I was about to say the subscription box. It's not a subscription box. Please subscribe if you haven't, but go subscribe to them. They're going to be in the description box if you haven't already. And I'm also, again, going to put their Venmos down in case you feel like you want to send them a little tip or something. Um, totally up to you, but they will be down in the description box as well. And for the rest of the questions I have on my list, we will be getting to those next week. And then we'll open up for more questions questions after we get through those questions. Again, a common theme, a common thing amongst a lot of the questions and, and for all three of us as well, this is not just us lecturing you like this is stuff that we've been feeling as well. We're all feeling stuck. We're all feeling tired. We're all feeling weary. We're all, uh, you know, what's that verse in the Bible that I thought about the other day? Uh, it was like, God was like, I just need you to have just a little bit of faith. Faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing will be impossible. Just hold on to that. Even if that faith is like a lingering little faith, please just hold on to it. We're all in the same boat. Don't feel bad if you're feeling bad. This is this is this is a spiritual uh, W A R. So if we we didn't, my, I just got. Did you think this was going to be easy? So like you know, lol. Did we think this was going to be easy? So no. But this is what you're made for. This is why you're here right now. So just hold on, guys. We're almost there. All right, ladies, thank you guys so much. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>